you know, the, building a satellite is really cool, but what makes a satellite um, very personal or very um, linked to the university or to the country is that we get to fly our own um, developed um, technologies. Ireland has never had a satellite project and we decided the time was right to make this bold proposal and amazingly it was successful. When I was in school if I heard about Ireland's first satellite and knew that a team of students were building it in particular I'd be extremely encouraged to follow a STEM career even more than I was. Well one of the things I love about the project is the fact that we have 25 students maybe, it varies from time to time, from many different disciplines, all very bright and able, but from different backgrounds, different characters, but we're all in this together. It's not a school project, it's not a, it's not a student final year project, this, this is really up there at, at, at the high end. There are so many aspects to why this project is really important. The one certainly is the technical side that we're learning an awful lot. The second is that we get to launch an instrument, our first in instrument in space. Well, first of all, you want to do a small satellite because you need to reduce complexity for the first time that you're doing this. So AirSat-1 is a CubeSat, which is a type of miniature satellite. So you can think of it as a cube, and you can stack those cubes, you can make bigger satellites. And we have three exciting Irish experiments in the satellite. GMOD is a gamma ray detector, um, so we call it the gamma ray module, or GMOD for short. So gamma ray bursts are a good way to probe the very early universe. They're among the most distant things that we've ever seen. The second one is EMOD, which is uh, the Embio module, which is testing Embio's solar black and solar white spacecraft coatings. They're on solar orbiter, heading towards the sun, but this is the first time that they're going to actually be tested in low Earth orbit. So our third payload is a software payload. It's called wave-based control. Um, and basically it's a new piece of software that is able to control the movement of AirSat-1 in space. And everything that you put up there, it can't affect uh, anything else that's up there. It's maybe the case that we're going to launch from the International Space Station. So from that we've got, uh, you've got astronauts there and you've got to make sure that everything you put up into space is absolutely safe. One thing about the AirSat-1 project is that we have people from every sort of background. I never imagined that I'd be doing this when I started my studies. AirSat is the start of collaborative space research here in UCD. It's going to be the beginning of a flourishing, I think, of new ideas, new innovations and new capabilities in space for Ireland. Hopefully there's something for everyone because it does take every sort of person to build a satellite.